To create a table with EasyProf, click on the icon table in the content item bar and then on the spot of the page where we want to place it. By default, the created table has three columns by two rows. First of all, we set its properties. We choose the general appearance that it will have and the padding between the cells and the text. We can give the table a background color or leave it transparent. We can also change the color of the border of the table. To do so, click on Border to open the Border Editor. We can modify the border type clicking on the border field. We can choose from single line, dashed line, double line, etc. We can also select a color for the border. Some border types also allow choosing a color for the shadow. Finally, we indicate the line width in pixels and accept the changes. To edit the contents of the table, click on the field Cells. We can also open the table editor by double-clicking on the table. The icons on the top let us configure the number of rows and columns. With these icons, we can add rows or columns always at the end. Rows and columns can also be inserted in other positions. For example, if we want to add a new column between columns 1 and 2, we have to click on a cell in the second column and click Insert Column. We follow the same procedure to insert a row. To delete a row or column, we simply click a cell in that row or column and click on the Delete Row or Remove Column icon. Once we have our table set, we may start introducing content in each cell, typing or copying the text the same way as in the text field. When the process is finished, press OK to close the editor. We can only give you the appropriate size and position. The application distributes the dimensions of the table between the number of rows and columns so that all cells are always the same size.